We'll start our investigation of two-factor ANOVA by downloading some fake data uh, from GitHub on this fake SOAP experiment. If we look at the data frame, we'll see that the setup is as I showed in the slides. There is every combination of SOAP and triclosan with counts as the Y value. I'm going to set up the ANOVA object as I showed on this example slide. Before we actually carry out the ANOVA test, we should check for the assumptions of ANOVA. There are, I think, more a few more complicated assumptions when you have a two-factor ANOVA, but we're basically going to check the two typical assumptions that we have for parametric tests. That is that the residuals are normally distributed and also that there is homogeneity of variance among the different groups. Let's extract the residuals from the ANOVA object. If we plot a histogram of them, we see that they look quite normal. We also can run a Shapiro-Wilkes test and they are quite uh, normal. They do not seem to be deviating from normal. We can pass the ANOVA object into the plot function just as we passed in the linear model into the plot function. And we will then get a plot of the residuals and also the normal quantile plot. The normal quantile plot looks quite good. The points are very close to the line. So that uh, confirms what we saw from the histogram in the Shapiro test. If we go back to the uh, distribution of the residuals and look at the spread, I think this is, um, one of these is triclosan only, the other is soap only, these are the main effects, and then I think this is the interaction effect here. The, the, uh, they are not exactly normally distributed, uh, so I think it would be good to run a Levine test the Levine's test will work on a two-factor ANOVA, but only if you include all the interaction terms. If you have only part of the model, uh, it won't work, but in this case it will. So let's run that. And the p-value is a bit on the low side, but it's not below 0.05. So I think it should be okay to go ahead and run the analysis. So if I, perform the summary on the ANOVA object that we generated up here using the AOV function. We get the ANOVA table. This is actually the one that was on the slide. We see that the interaction term is not significant, whereas the main effect of the SOAP is significant, but triclosan is not. 